Alright guys, I'm going to start this other thing, um, which is going to be called Fire. Um, I've picked it up somewhere else and I thought this will be quite useful for a lot of people as, as well. It's financial independence and retire early. That's it, Fire. Um, so there's a lot of stuff I'm trying to look at where it's easier for other people to implement. Um, because a lot of this stuff I'll pick up and I'll just go with it, but as somebody brought up in one of the comments, when it worked for some about uh, two people, one person could pick up the stuff really fast, the other person was very good with the money. If you've got that sort of um, match with two people, it, it can be quite a strong business because they have the skills between them to cover all bases. So I do understand that uh, sometimes I do it myself, I will run my stuff and then people are sitting there going, I still didn't understand what you said at the beginning because already it's like I've looked at it within five minutes, got it and away with it where other people are still going, hang on, can we go over this again? I do not understand. A bit like mathematics, that's why I make an issue about it with schools, where they don't put enough emphasis on mathematics with kids. Um, I do think there should be more done to improve the education system for maths, languages and science. Predominantly maths and sciences these days. Uh, sorry, maths and languages these days, in the sense of being able to read and write. Um, because they're foundations, but I do find if you can't get those right, the rest of this stuff starts to fail quite miserably afterwards anyway. So that's why I emphasize that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm going to look at where we can actually see different things. And I would love input from everybody else as well. Uh, one of the things I do want to stress is this isn't a journey of mine. This is a journey, our sort of journey into different things. In like with the MGTOW stuff, it was venturing that sort of pointed me in that direction, so I've looked at it, I found it quite interesting. I do find it quite interesting when people kick back at me going, well, how can you talk about um, uh, MGTOW when you're married and this? And it's like, because I understand the concept behind it. I understand the ideology behind it. I understand what people are talking about. And it's not about me directly, because most of that stuff I do anyway. When me and my wife originally met, I was actually going my own way at the time. I was buying a new car, getting a new apartment, I'd come out of a long-term relationship, and I wasn't interested in a relationship. Because at that point, the only things that I had sort of seen in the, the last decade or so was people from the United Kingdom. And as such, I quite simply got tired of it. I had no interest in a Western woman. So please understand that I understand that completely because I was in the same boat, I was looking at the same things, and then it just very random th thing happened and everything changed. But also, it shows that not everything needs to be a 100% mix out, in the sense of you follow the ideology um, of looking after yourself, self-sustainability, increasing your independence, etc. It also means that you could still get in a relationship later if you decided to do so. Because one of the things I am very strong on is you never dictate to anybody what they need to do with anything. It should be a freedom of choice. Um, but it also means that you can take some of the bits that you find fit with you. And if, it, if you're not keen on staying on your own or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Because the thing is, if you recognize the independence, you recognize the risks, you recognize uh, how to move forward in life, then you've got a lot out of it, and that's all that matters. And this is like this, financial independence, retire early. And I know some people are going to go, well, I'm only 20-something. Yeah, but it's a bit like my father. He had a, when he joined the military, he had an advisor there that was saying, when you're overseas, make sure you buy a house before you go, because you're going to have army quarters anyway. But rent the house out. And then when you finish with the army, it's already paid for. Because you just move people in there and they rent it out. And obviously it's like, yeah, whatever. Off out, drinking, whatever, partying. And then you come back 20 years later going, yeah, I should have listened to it. <laughs> but we all do it. And that's the thing. This is why I'm, I'm quite happy to share what I can. Um, but I do think it's important that people recognize if you're in a very, very good position, it may not always be there. Uh, I was talking to, because we're moving house as well now as well, uh, we're talking to a, the owner of the new house, we're going back to La Mata, we've got a nice apartment, um, bigger than my other apartment in La Mata, so this, this is ideal. Um, but as she said, she, I mean she's a biochemist, 
And she says it's in a very good position right now because they've got two houses. The other house is mortgage. This one's paid off in Lamata, which is why they're renting it out because they, they work in the next town. And he, she was saying, he says, but I know it, now I'm in a good position, but I don't know where I'll be in two years' time. Which is why she's talking about renting it for two years, then seeing if we want to buy it. And I'll be honest with you, because of the condition of the apartment and pos position of it and layout, I probably will buy this one. Um, and the, here's, here's the ironic one. It's actually above the other apartment I lived in, La Mata, but it's a bigger one. So it's an extra bedroom on this one and it's got a balcony and other bits. So I, I'm stoked on moving over there. But anyway, it all comes from creating your own fi financial independence. Recognizing retirement early doesn't mean retirement where you just sit there and wait to die. Retirement is actually more to do with enjoying the stuff that you want to do. It could be a case of financial independence and travel early. It doesn't need to be retire early. You can be doing other stuff. And this is why when people um, work towards retirement, I don't understand that. My personal point is I know too many people that died after retirement because they didn't put anything in there. They're like, save, going to retire just going to sit in the sun or whatever. Yes, nothing to keep the brain motivated, nothing to keep physically going. Sit on YouTube, sit on um, forums, sit on this. That's what happens with a lot of them. Others, alcoholism. Others, um, they just become very bitter because there's nothing to do. But at the same time, you've got a period you're in now where you can actually create some small enterprises to keep you busy in your retirement because it's not always about money but it's nice when you have that little bit of extra cash as well but ultimately when you are retiring bear in mind you need to keep occupied whether it's playing golf three times a week tennis fishing whatever you've got to keep active and alive um, because it's very easy to just slip into this um, abyss of having nothing to do you start going to bed at like 2 o'clock in the morning and waking up at 1 p.m. in the afternoon because there's nothing to get out of bed for. That is not the way to go. Um, and this is going to be part of fire. I, th I think we're going to develop that around that. That'll be something a little bit different rather than... I know the big tell is talking personal development and stuff and avoiding getting into the pitfalls. And I know I've done a lot of big tail stuff, but fire is going to be a, a bit different in the sense of it's trying to set people up for a long-term um, goal um, along with some ideas of things to develop and it would be nice if um, we got other people's ideas on this stuff and one of the things I do want to stress this channel is you're welcome to come on this channel you're welcome to produce videos for this channel if you've got something interest you want to add you're welcome to do it I mean I'm <laughs> I know um, when I met Barry, Barry found me quite intimidating from watching me on YouTube, but found me completely different in person. And this is what I quite f find quite funny with trolls, because trolls are like this, but they've never even met me. But very rarely I am, am I not friends with people I actually know in person, in the sense that I, my friendships are lifelong, because I, I'm a bit different. Because when I'm here, I'm talking about specific subjects. It's not like, hi, how are you doing? You know, it's, it's not that environment. This is like just discussing topics. Um, so it can be very different in person. And that's, that was quite funny with Barry. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching.